In iPadOS 18, which you can test by installing the Xcode 16 beta, there is a new style for tab view and a sidebar layout. It's actually pretty simple to implement, though a few things have changed to the way how you used tab view in your SwiftUI code. Here's an example of how it could be implemented. Right now we're viewing the tab view style. So we have a home tab, a profile tab, a settings tab with this nice little uh, segmented control like uh, animation up here. And then there's also this sidebar icon, which automatically slides this tab view selector to the sidebar where we can now select the different tabs. This behavior is pretty simple to implement. So let's have a look at how it works. There are just a couple of steps, four in total, in order to implement this. Of course, this only works in iOS 18, which is available through the Xcode 16 beta version. So first of all, we now have to create a hashable type that represents our different tabs up here. I called it pages and made it into an enum because I don't have any other information associated with these tabs. So I just have the three cases, home, settings and profile. Of course, this may, can be customized to your liking. Next, I added a state property to hold the current page. And by default, we want to show the home view, of course. Yeah, to have state restoration, it could, this could also be an app, app storage property wrapper instead of add state in order to persist it across sessions. Next, we create a tab view with a selection of our page. This is still the same as you have had it in the past. What's interesting now is that we now have these new tab containers where previously we just had our um, destination view with a uh, view modifier to create the tag. Now we have this tab container with a label, perhaps a system image that you can show or hide. You can customize that via view modifiers to this tab and tab view. But in this example, I just omitted that. And then the important part is that we have to pass a value, which is of the same type as our selection. So in my case, selection is a pages instance. So the uh, home tab should have the dot home case, profile tab should have the dot profile case, and the settings tab should have the dot settings uh, case. So create your tabs. Of course, you can do this with a for each if your uh, enum is case iterable, for example. And then the last step is to adapt the sidebar support. So uh, you already know the tab view style. Now you have the dot sidebar adaptable um, case or, or factory method in here. I'm not sure how it is implemented under the hood. But this basically means that we get this little um, sidebar icon here for free. So if we leave out this tab view style, you will notice that the default tab view on iPadOS still looks like this um, segmented control up here. But we just get rid of the sidebar button. And now if we add the sidebar adaptable style again, we get a sidebar button where the tab view slides over to the sidebar. This is a nice little UX improvement and I think it's so easy to implement. Why not use it in your app as well? If you want to know about all of the other Swift UI, Swift and other framework changes that got announced at WTC 24, make sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below if you have any video ideas for me.